It's been a while since I've had an opportunity to see you. Uh, it's great to chat with you again on a different platform. So welcome to Hip Hop United this time. Um, the last time we spoke, uh, season two was about to start. And we were just getting to know Jackie. You know, we were watching closely to see if we could learn a little bit more about this mysterious character that uh, has Will's attention. But now, we're in a new season, season three, and we see that Jackie is very much still in the mix. She's still got Will's attention, but also making her way deeper into the Bel Air circle. So uh, we're happy to see that you're still here and bringing all that spice to the show. How you feeling? Feeling good. Blessed, blessed to be on another season. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Well, in the past, we did discuss the differences between you and Jackie. So what inspiration do you really draw from to portray a character that has a completely different life story than your own? Yeah. Um, I think I just made it a task to like learn as much about Jackie as possible and create the world that she's from. So, you know, like imagination is a very powerful tool. So, you know, I just imagined, you know, the house she grew up in, the neighborhood she grew up in, um, what it was like to not have any parent figures around and just really like make everything super specific, like how I started dance, what made me start dance um, and just really, you know, get into her shoes and, and what it's like to be her. That's the, the best way I could probably explain it, just create the world that is Jackie's. Got you. Got you. Now, you are, of course, a, a, a creative, a very powerful creative with so many ways uh, to uh, use your imagination, as you say, or put your imagination on display. But as of recent, you know, you gave us a look into your more musical side with the release of your EP, Identity Crisis. And I had a chance to listen to it. I really enjoyed the moods and messages that you put together. And I loved watching you kind of create a soundtrack for your vulnerable moments and letting others know it's okay to also have these feelings. So why did you name this album Identity Crisis? And what sparked those thoughts at a time when things seemed to be going, you know, pretty well for you, at least on the surface? Yeah. Um... I think I've always grown up with a very strong sense of my identity. Um, I never really questioned it. I was very confident as as a child. But I think, you know, as you get older, you become more aware, social cues and fear starts kind of, you know, crawling into your head. You start questioning like who you are and, and why you why you are the way you are. And, and you know, should I change this about myself? Should, should I go this way? And, and you start kind of dimming your light naturally without even knowing it. And so, um, you know, I wanted to be very intentional with the first story I told as, as, as an introduction to, you know, being an artist. So I was like, what's something that I've struggled with recently? Um, and, you know, vulnerability is such a powerful thing people latch onto and connect to. And that's something I, I have a really hard time exposing and sharing. And so I was like, damn it, I'm going to have to go and be vulnerable. <laughs> so, um, I was just like, you know, I think my identity has been something I've been, you know, tackling and struggling with. Um, I feel like the world does a really good job of telling you who to be instead of you deciding who you want to be. And so um, I just wanted to, like, kind of showcase and highlight this um, this war that you don't see, but it only happens in your head. And so um, each song is kind of a reflection of different identities that I struggle with. And um it, it really was birthed, I think, from a younger age being, you know, mixed. I uh, I didn't know what it was like. I didn't know what that meant. I was just like, okay, mom's Mexican, dad's black. They're my parents. It does, I don't care. I don't, you know. But I think growing up, you know, you feel like you don't fit in both, but you also don't fit by yourself. Like, it's just, I don't know. It's, it's an interesting concept. So I think there's just a lot of moving parts of, um, your identity and, and I don't know, it's always changing. So I wanted to kind of do a project reflecting that. Got it. Got it. And since you brought up your parents, you, you know, you come from a very artistic family, you know, how did that impact your view of the world as a child? If I'm not mistaken, you know, your mother and father both, uh, you know, played a part in terms of the arts. So how did that impact your worldview? Yeah. Um, I think it made it extremely colorful. And I think, um, 
it allowed me to be a child and it allowed me to be free and express myself because my parents came from an artistic background they gave me the freedom and um the space to be me and be me unapologetically because I was a lot as as a child <laughs> I was a lot but they you know they loved the fire in me till this day they're like you just have so much spark you have so much light you have so much fire and and they never wanted to dim it if anything they nurtured it and supported it so I really don't think I ha I would have had the confidence um, and the drive that I do now if it wasn't for my parents. Got it. Got it. Now, back to your music. I like the entire project, but the two songs that really resonated with me were Perfect and uh, Stuck in the Middle. Uh, stuck in the Middle because of how you were kind of narrating the internal battles you know, you were facing, and it was kind of the perfect blend of, of groove uh, as well as growth. Uh, could you tell me how this particular song came together with your family? If I'm not mistaken, I think uh, your father had a hand uh, in the production on that as well. Let's talk about it. <laughs> so I, I came over to my parents' house and I'm like, Dad, I want you to make me a song. He's like, okay, is it going to be on the project? I said, it's going to be on the project. He's like, okay, like what uh, what, what, what style do you want? And I was like, I want very jazz, neo soul chords. And so he started playing the piano. And then I just, we started brainstorming of what the song was going to be about. And I was like, I kind of want it to be about me being like stuck. Like, do I go right? Do I go left? Do I choose my career? Do I choose you know, spending more time with family. And um, so he put the whole beat together and then the lyrics kind of came naturally. And um, my mom is narrating in the beginning. So it's both my parents on that song, which is really special. And um, yeah, it was just a very honest thing of like, you know, do I spend more time with family? Do I, or do I focus on my career? Do I, do I love you or do I choose myself and love myself? Um, so that one's, great because my, my dad's on it and it's just like a very neo soul jazz type of song which I love and then perfect came because I came to the studio with T. A. Thomas who's um the producer on it and then Sage White and Trey who are the co-writers they're like okay so what do you what type of song do you want to create and I was like so I came up with my project concept this is it and I was like and this song is going to be about being perfect and you know the unrealistic burden to maintain that false narrative. They're like, okay. And I was like, I feel like a lot of men have put me on a pedestal of being perfect. And I feel like just as a society, a lot of people put other people on pedestals of like, you are this idolized thing. Therefore you have to stay that way. You can't mess up. You can't fall. You can't be human. And so I just wanted, you know, to make a song to help people give each other grace because everyone's broken, everyone has messed up, everyone, you know, it's just part of the human experience. So I wanted to make a song uh, about that. Very good. Well, it came out great. Uh, I, I loved it. I've been playing, uh, you know, I got a flow project, but those are the two that kind of stuck to my ribs a little bit there. So they've been on repeat a lot more than some of the others as well. So getting back to the show, you know, obviously you can't tell us everything that's happened. And we've got quite a few episodes out there. So we got a little taste of what's kind of going on right now. So in terms of Jackie, you know, she's always been kind of mysterious, but we're seeing a little bit more from her in terms of that. She's definitely throwing her hat into the ring and making her her space known in terms of that what can we expect you know of, of what you could tell or whatever with Jackie do we get to learn a little bit more what do you think what, what can you give to us I think unfortunately you don't get to learn more which is always a thing when everyone's talking about Jackie they're like she's so mysterious like we don't know a lot about her and I think she likes it that way you know I think she comes from you know she comes from a neighborhood where it's like you can't show too much you can't share too much like you can't be you can't be soft you got to be hard so I think Will was the only one that you uh, where you saw her open up a little bit mm -hmm. and I think this season you know everyone has their their critiques or whatever but I always always want to give Jackie grace because it's like I couldn't imagine growing up without two parents and feeling so unlovable and then also on top of that growing up in South Central like yeah you know it's like if anything I'm glad Jackie is you know people are saying she's thirsty this season I'm like if anything like that's the best she could be she could be she could be out there game banging she could be doing drugs she could be an alcoholic like she could use so many other ways to cope and I think 
just like any other person, she wants to be loved. And um, she hasn't been loved in a long time, not even from her parents. So, you know, I really want to ask people to give her grace. You know, I know she's getting a little messy, but like she didn't start it. Let's start it there. Lisa kind of. Lisa, Lisa really stepped up, didn't she? Lisa was like, okay, look at here. <laughs> uh, and she made a little side comment before she even went off on Jackie um, that, you know, kind of triggered Jackie to be like, oh, bet we didn't have a problem, but now we do. So, okay. And yeah, like I said, it was interesting because you saw Lisa like, okay, hold on a minute. I I've had enough of this right here. <laughs> but at the same time, you know, Jackie kind of looked at her like, well, what are we doing? <laughs> so <laughs> I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I liked seeing that interaction with that or whatever. But obviously, uh, Will's going to have to uh, get off that fence and, and kind of figure some things out. That's what needs to happen. Will <laughs> needs to focus on himself and leave these girls alone. <laughs> There you go. There you go. From somebody who's uh, who's in there and kind of sees it, kind of giving her perspective. Well, that's good stuff. Well, back to the music here before we kind of wrap up. How would you describe your project for anyone that hasn't experienced this side of you in terms of music there? They've seen you on the show. They don't know much about you. And they're like, oh, my goodness, she sings and, and as well as dances and kind of putting it all together in one project. What can they expect or how would you describe your project? Yeah, um, I think because Jackie is not extremely vulnerable, people are gonna be surprised when they see this project because it's extremely vulnerable, it's extremely intimate, um, and I think it's honest. Um, I think it's really hard for people to be honest, surprisingly, not me. I'm honest by default, <laughs> sometimes too much, <laughs> but um, it's extremely vulnerable, and um, I think it's a piece of my heart, and hopefully people respect it and honor it and um, cherish it. Right on, right on. All right. Well, just kind of wrapping up, what kind of plans or projects do you have coming for the fall? And of course, where can everybody get this new EP, Identity Crisis? Um, hopefully more music coming for the fall um, and some rest because your girl needs it. I've been tired. <laughs> I I hear you've been working hard. You've been working hard. That's what that's what happens when when you got the the, the devil hyphens and everything going on when you're multifaceted. <laughs> yes, it's it's been a long month for sure. But I'm blessed to be be doing what I love, and uh, you guys can catch it on Spotify, Apple Music, Title, YouTube, on all platforms. Okay. Okay. Well, she's got a lot of good things going on and we love the work that you're doing on Bel Air. Every time the episodes come out, I am tuned in because I want to see what's going to happen, especially with your character. So, uh, what is that? Episode are you on? I got to know. I think I just, I just, the ones that just caught up, I think I just watched the one, uh, let me see where, let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh, they just wrapped up uh, where the girl who co uh, committed, uh, tried to attempt to uh, take herself out or whatever, uh, Carlton's uh, uh, significant. Yeah, I think I just just finished that episode in terms of that. So that's where I'm at right now. Hey, you're at a great place. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's it's yeah, it, it's already gotten spicy, but I know it's 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 about to get deeper, especially with that. So I'm curious to see kind of what's going to happen with Carlton, how he's yeah. going to deal with that because he's he's in a very fragile state. We've got Will still kind of sitting on the fence. We've got Lisa going through a lot in terms of her stuff with her family. You know, we've got the uh, the, the husband and wife who are kind of going through everything with that. There is a lot going on. <laughs> season so i'm excited for you to finish it okay well good stuff well i can't wait well listen we cannot wait to continue to watch this much success of course to bel-air your music projects and anything else you're going please tell your parents that they did a fantastic job not only on the production but with you as a person and i can't wait to talk to you again during season four and when you bring out another album all right okay thank you so much take care have a good one thank you you too bye right, take care bye, -bye.